mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. So I got a big hole in my backyard um, because Ed from Aquascape, along with Nick and Juan who's sleeping, everyone seems to be lollygagging around here, but trust me, these guys have been nonstop since they got in yesterday uh, from Chicago. This is going to be the ultimate backyard swimming recreation pond and, uh, and Aquascape ecosystem recreation pond. That's what we're building here. It is going to be a load of fun, but it's a lot of work. I've been getting involved. I don't know how many, uh, I don't know how many of the other guys actually do work, Ed. But I, I you're the best. I love them, man. That's what I want to hear. My back's feeling way better. I did shave off my beard a little bit, so I'm not quite as Samson strong. But anyhow, uh, this is just overwhelming. It's it's something when you see a giant hole like this, but now you can kind of understand just the perspective of how big this pond's gonna be. There's gonna be a waterfall going over that edge, which is gonna allow for the leopard tortoises to be able to drink. Uh, then the water gets pumped underneath all the way over here, Tom, check it out. The water is gonna go underground, and right over here, be careful, it is a construction zone. Right over here, we're gonna have the bog filter all the way over here, guys. So basically, water's gonna come up from, from the pumps in the ground, gonna go through all kinds of sediment, uh, root systems, there's gonna be plants up here. So right about this level is where this ground is gonna be raised to, and the water will then flow down a waterfall, and then we're gonna have a nice meandering stream right through here, making a right turn and back into the pond. So this is a massive, undertaking. I'm amazed at how calm you sound right now. Oh, dude, because I, I actually ate, which is nice, but <laughs> this morning was all about putting fires out. Like we had uh, the logistics company that was dropping off all the aquascape equipment. Uh, they, they, they weren't going to be able to drop it today and we needed it today because someone missed the call last night. That was me. Uh, but I was able to get them to drop it off. Then we're waiting on an excavator which showed up thankfully at the nick of time. Um, and then we need a telephone pole and our good friend Ed Abrea, he pulled through. That's the next place I'm heading to. I now have to go cut up some telephone pole. Luckily, it's only a block away and bring it back here. He as your interpreter, yeah. I know that underneath it all, you're I'm extremely freaking excited. Out. Yeah. But you're also stressed because no, there's a lot. Here, here's what's going on, guys. I mean, you know, look, I still have animals I have to care for. We're going to get a cold front in later. So you guys are coming along on a ride. You're going to see just what it entails you know i'm not one of these guys everyone thinks i'm rich which is hysterical um <laughs> everybody thinks i'm rich and i've been driving uh, ed blue crazy from aquascape because i'm a wheeler and dealer man i'm trying to find telephone pole and i gotta find rocks and i gotta do this and guys it's about being creative uh and maximizing relationships you've made uh obviously the aquascape guys are doing me a huge solid uh they brought all their amazing uh equipment and talent and they're donating that, but I've got to find all the other equipment like the rocks and I got to find logs. And that's part of the, the excitement and journey, guys, that you're going to be seeing is how am I going to pull this off? I am not rich. Trust me, Tom, am I rich? No. No. <laughs> I've, been, I've been dipping into uh, to the bank account, to the Camp Kennan bank account just to stay afloat. That's what it's about, guys. It's just about... Getting Basically, this every, every dime goes back into this place. Right, it goes right back into the place because, you know, it, it's funny. So many people um, ask me, you know, how do I do it? And I've always had a gift for, you know, I've been fortunate that the things I love, um, I've loved since I was very young. And I'm not a guy that's into fancy cars. I'm not a guy that's into too many material things. Al although this is a material thing, this is no joke. This to me is like a Ferrari. Somebody is building a Ferrari in my backyard, but it's a place that I can share with my animals, that I can share with you. We're gonna film so many videos here. It's going to be so amazing to share space with these animals in as natural a setting as possible. That's the goal, right? We all wanna live amongst our animals. That's what I'm doing here. So 
I basically have formed great relationships with Aquascape, uh, with Tom, uh, and with some other friends who you're going to meet in this video who are all pulling together because they enjoy, um, they enjoy what I'm doing with the animals. They want to see it succeed. So that's what we're doing here today, all right? And I am stressing out, and uh, my yard has been torn apart. It's hard to kind of visualize what it's going to look like, but I know the artistry that sits underneath there. Look at, look at these guys. These artists. Look at Chris Hansen. Look at how... Chris Handsome, I like to call him. What a handsome guy, just lounging back. Um, how, how much longer is lunch, guys? Till, till my nap's over. There you go. <laughs> Anyhow, I told him there's a, there, right over there is a hammock. They can go sleep on the hammock. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop yapping. You know how I feel. I'm super excited and fortunate that we're doing this. Uh, but I got to get back to work because um, these guys are going to need some telephone pole. Because check it, right here, we got to go 20 feet with telephone pole. Now this morning, I didn't have any telephone pole. This afternoon, I've got some telephone pole. Wait until you see what I'm about to go do. So telephone pole here, which is gonna retain the soil from going into the pond. We're gonna remove this, okay? So this fence is coming out and the barrier for these turtles will be telephone pole retaining wall. So I'm excited, it's gonna look cool. And we'll probably have some left over that we can kind of space sporadically throughout. So that'll be good too, because this whole level has changed. I don't know what to expect. All right, we're out of here. So my brother's got my truck. I gotta drive the boat and go on the block to Ed's house. Start cutting everything up. By the time I'm done with that, my brother will be back. I can link up the trailer and pull all the material back to the house. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make this thing go any faster. We're on the road for a bit. Look at all this stuff. I'm gonna, basically I'm just gonna start moving some of the things off of it, get it ready, and then we gotta cut it into about six, six and a half foot long sections. And we'll get that all cut up. Those are some big, thick, heavy poles. Dude. Yes, so I'm glad that we have some able-bodied people back at the ranch to help when we're ready to load. All right. something to say but I don't care as long as I get that pond built <laughs> so if you want to get things done you're gonna have to rely on some friends my buddy Ed Abrea he had these telephone poles just hanging out in his backyard and it was time for me to get dirty and get to work now I should have gotten myself a way better chainsaw blade but well it'll do and also this is why I didn't go to the gym this morning oh felt like Arnold Schwarzenegger oh yeah I gotta get this lifted Get it back to the chopper. And then it was back on to chainsawing and hey Tom, get over here, will you? Thank you. Tom got involved. <laughs> you know what's funny is Tom never thought his television career would go this way. Now I've got him measuring and lifting logs in the middle of Florida. But this is gonna look so cool when it's put together because it's gonna create a retaining wall. The best part is, guys, did not cost me a dime. I saved about $2,000 with this score. I think this chain's done. So what I propose is we uh, go get my truck, get a new chain, come back, bring all the guys, hitch up to that trailer and load. I'm tired. Let's do it. If you're a little peanut, they can jump in. They're gonna be fine. Hi, we're having a discussion. Hi. It's five foot Hi two there. shallow. For a little peanut child to jump in? I don't think so. I'm not, I mean, I wasn't really thinking about them. I really wasn't thinking about you. Yeah, well, I'm not jumping in. I'm old. Er, 
Anyway, uh, they got the underlayment in, and Kate's first, uh, she just got home from work, so she's checking out everything. And, um, it's really good. It's cool, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so different from this morning. Yeah, so much different, and there's still so much left to do. So what we've got to do is these guys are putting the, uh, the geo cloth, the underlayment, that protects the liners so that there's no punctures or anything, and when we put the boulders on, it acts as a cushion uh, for the liner. We'll even cut a little bit more of this fabric and potentially put it under some of the bigger boulders too. But this is a major project. I mean, it's, I don't know how else to say that. We are uh, doing all this work because in a few weeks, um, a lot of the Aquascape certified uh, contractors are going to be coming here and it's going to be something of a school for them. They're going to learn how to kind of create recreation pond and do the finishing touches. So right now, Ed and the gang are just here to kind of get the bulk of the work done so that we can really fly and it's, we're going to bring it all to you when we get there. But this is so much fun to see happen. Man, it's pretty mental. Now we gotta just drag that liner in, which is kinda heavy, and I, I gotta move that stump with the tractor, so still got more to do. One, two, oh, okay. so much for count. <laughs> Nick, that was all back. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed myself. That was a Come on. Hang in there, Juan Oogie. Juan Oogie. Anything kind of heavy there? Oh Jesus, man! I'm pouring sweat. This is no joke, man. These guys building these uh, water features is fun, but it's not an easy job. That's for sure, man. You did great. I did. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right. What's happening? So what's happening now? We got the liner all moved back here, which is not easy. My good buddy Mark showed up. We haven't seen him since episode one of <laughs> Camp Cannon, and uh, well. They're gonna unfold this whole liner. I'm doing too much talking. And uh, this is what's gonna hold the water in the pond. Pretty exciting. Yes, I am excited, but I'm a little tired. So forgive me if I'm uh, not my normal chipper self. <laughs> Nothing like 1,800 pounds worth of liner, rubber. It's much heavier than it looks. What do I do? Or maybe it looks that heavy. Uh, we're we're stuck in them right now. Now it's time to get that liner spread out. Not an easy task. And the worst part is, is the work is far from done. But you know what? It's so satisfying knowing that we're helping build our own dream. This is going to be one amazing recreation pond. And I got to say thanks to all the guys that came down from Aquascape. But there's going to be way more CACs or certified Aquascape contractors descending on my home in February. So if you guys like what you're seeing and want to see more, go to the Camp Cannon Army channel for some more awesome video of the build, as well as next Tuesday, the next steps. We'll see you soon, right here on Camp Cannon. <laughs> next time. Uh. Love building bonds. <laughs>